joining us. I'm Candace Kelly and I'm Nick Toma. There are still so many unanswered questions tonight in the ongoing investigation into the attempted assassination of former President Trump on Saturday. One of the biggest questions is what was the motive of the gunman 20 year old Thomas Crooks 2822 News I team reporter Andy Mahalchik is working the story. He joins us now live in the studio. What have you learned Andy? Well, good afternoon Candace and Nick. Well, the FBI says it appears that Crooks acted alone, but they still don't know why he opened fire on the former president. That chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Assassination attempt caught on camera. Former President Donald Trump was grazed on the head. A man attending the rally was killed, and two other men critically injured. The drama unfolded Saturday in Butler, Pennsylvania, when the FBI says 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks opened fire from a rooftop of a building 150 yards away from the stage. He's going down! A police sniper shot and killed Crooks. Now, former classmates of Crooks say he was a loner. I had my only interactions with him were just seeing him in school and he was bullied, sat alone at lunch. Psychiatrist Dr. Matthew Berger from Lackawanna County is not involved in the Trump rally shooting investigation. But he says, based on information being released by the FBI and what he has seen in other shootings over his career, he offered up this opinion. A lot of times these people are loners. Oftentimes they're isolated and feel that either the world or society in some way has done them wrong. And they have, quote, like an ax to grind. Uh, and so they're sort of lashing out at society in general by picking a high-profile target. Dr. Berger says oftentimes it's about being known as a somebody. Oftentimes also it's an attention-seeking thing. They feel like this is going to be their 15 minutes of fame, you know, that they're going to now be not that person who nobody notices, who people just walk by and don't even know they exist. Now, the FBI says Crooks had bomb-making materials in the car he drove to that rally and that he acted alone with a gun that was purchased legally by his father. Nick, again, back to you. All right, Andy, thank you. Lawmaker